song you just played was Mrs. Sameho. Mrs. Sameho. What's the intention behind that particular song? Um, staying true to yourself, mm -hmm. believing in yourself, believing in your process, and um, trusting in, in God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the journey that began, say, in 2012 mm -hmm. for you up till mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So that probably is like your life anthem. Yeah. Because I'm sure when you started, we were like, why are you doing yep. songs in a can? Did you, mm. what was it like for you when you first began? Um, challenging. Um, also very interesting. Mm. Um, I mean, it's funny. Say we find ourselves in a space like this where um, majority of Ghanaians are speaking tree. Um, but also, very unfortunately, we find something that I'm doing very foreign. And and so um, in the beginning, a uh, year among four people, we're, we're not very sure about mm. how the process was going to be like. Mm. But um, with time, you know, a lot of people are showing interest in mm. it, and um, it's been a good process for me. Mm. Yeah. So Onyamema being the second album, Onyamema, mm. Onyamema, um, Onyamema <laughs> being the second album. Yeah. The when I first had a listen to it, it it sort of like taking us back to our roots, storytelling, mm. um, adults advising children. Mm. What was the creative process mm. like for you? Mm. Um, so like I'm saying, I, I just realized that uh, even though we are all speaking Chi, mm. Chi is also very foreign to us. Ukuskua, um, mm. um, now everybody everybody is called Isaac or Mabel or Angela or whatever the name is. Like Ubiya is running away from who we are. Mm -hmm. And then nobody wants to be we got to a crabby cry a fair so we need because a friend or but was so Yeah, I mean it's it's, it's it was quite a, a disturbing um thing to hear. Okay. And so um during one of my processes mm. of thinking about what is really going on around us, our environment, things that are going on around us, what people are doing, what people are saying, one of the things that came to my attention is as me as an artist having a platform, what would be some of the things I would love to address, mm. some of the things I would love to talk about. Um, looking into the future, what we what we have now, the situation we have now, and how it is going to be in the future. Mm -hmm. So I also realized that the future will be the kids. Mm -hmm. So let me talk to the kids. Mm -hmm. And so T album now, there's a lot of kids involvement, and that's because I wanted to project into the future how the future is going to be for us. If we want to understand how the future is going to be, we need to understand the past mm. and the future is a kid mm. so i went to the kid had this interaction with them had this conversation with them and Onyamima, like you said <laughs> Onyamima came true mm. yeah so um I'm, I'm listening to you you talking about the future and all of yeah. that i think one of the track i'm hoping i get any right <laughs> yeah. 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 okay so um that particular song the yeah. interlude preceding it yeah um sort of like an adult, yeah, which I'm sure was you, mm. um, telling the children that mm. they, what's happening now, it's they, the ones who are coming, they are the ones mm. who are going to have to bear the mm. burden. Mm. So that was the intention. Mm. Yes, like, yes, yes. Letting the, if we don't fix the yes. issues now, yes, it's those who are coming, yes, who are going to have to deal with it. Yes. So was that was that the, you, so three years in mm. between um, Unipakuma mm. and now, yes, the I think four years, four years yes. or so. Was it was the idea while you were in hibernation? Was the idea that 
I think we need to talk about what is happening now so that we don't keep making the same mistake. That was the idea yes. when you went into hibernation. Yes. Okay, yes. so what was the writing process like? Mm. You wake up and you're like, today I'm going to talk about staying true to yourself. Mm. Is that what it was like? Mm. Or you were just waiting for inspiration to mm. hit you? Um, it was, I mean, being in the process of an album making mm. for me is constantly thinking about what I want to say, massaging my mind. Mm. What is it that you want to talk about? How do you want the introduction to be? How mm. do you want to, what, what song are you going to make that the, the last song? What do you want to be in the middle? What, mm. what do you want the interludes to be like, to sound like? Mm. What is the feel of the album? So all these things are going through my mind and I have a big, a big subject of history, black culture, Ghanaian culture in mm. my mind that mm. I want to talk about. So I wake up in the morning, I do some research, I read a book, I go on the internet, go read some um, lecture B, and I said Dr. B, a video or online. Um, so there's research back in? Yes, yes, yes. I listen to a lot of... But well, I find that surprising I, because yeah. I don't think most artists now mm. would yeah. say, well, since I'm going to be talking about our history, mm. I'm going to be talking about where we, where we are now and where mm. we are heading to, I'm going to dig deep, I'm going mm. to see what lecturers, just like mm. ac academics have said mm. concerning mm. this matter. Most, most people wouldn't no, do that. No, 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 no. So then that's like a whole <laughs> different style yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, Charlie, because being an artist and having a platform mm. means so much to me. Mm. If my song is played on BBC, Mm -hmm. Or oh, my song is played on Peace FM. Mm -hmm. I would assume that the whole Ghana is listening to me because mm -hmm. Peace FM or GBC, let me say GBC, is playing me. The whole Ghana is listening to me. Now the whole Ghana has given you a platform to talk. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And once the music is recorded, it mm -hmm. is recorded. Honestly, it's, it's out. It's out. Mm -hmm. You can't take your words back 